Did I hear that you wanted to learn about Wikanovsky's process? Well, you've come to the right place. With convenient sections explaining, what is Wikanovsky's process? Why do we have it? And, it's history. This technical video will teach you all you should care to know about the reproduction process which drives our society. Let's get started. Wikanovsky's process is an artificial reproduction technique which is applied to human embryos in vitro. By introducing a special set of chemicals, the process splits an embryo into several identical copies. In the hatcheries, we can repeat the process to produce up to 96 embryos where only one was before. Although, about 72 is a good average. Due to potential weakening of embryos from all this splitting, Wikanovsky's process is not used to produce alphas or betas, but rather reserved for gamma, delta and epsilon cas. Each set of people produced using the process can also be designed with adaptations for their specific role in society. With this innovation, we can efficiently create the working cast, who run our machines and form the backbone of the world state. Just imagine the potential of 96 identical twins working 96 identical machines. Wikanovsky's process is a true innovation of our civilization and is paramount in creating the unprecedented social stability we have today. When combined with Podgenap's technique to speed up the maturation of embryos, it enables the essential caste system where the lower castes do the work they were born for and everybody's happy. With each Wikanovsky group working together on a single task they were designed for, our society achieves a level of efficiency never before seen. You see, the whole of a small factory can be staffed by the people from a single wikanovsky fied egg. Also, since people are so similar and share so many beliefs, conflict and war are a thing of the past. Further, because we are now able to make people artificially, no longer are we plagued by the horrors of overpopulation, not to mention natural birth and child rearing. This makes Wikanovsky's process the foundation of our successful and prosperous world state where everyone is who they want and need to be. The inspiration for Bukhanovsky's process originates from the old world, in the lifetime of our Ford. According to his Ford ship, Mustafa Mond, the process is named after one more East Bukhanovsky, a bureaucrat from the ancient region known as France who was wise and believed in maximum efficiency much like us today. However, someone misspelled his name in a public education poster, so our current designation, Bukhanovsky, stuck and became commonplace. The process itself was devised by a group of world state scientists after the Nine Years' War with inspiration from our Ford's Model T assembly line. In order to replenish the human population after this horrible conflict, the new world state employed the use of hatcheries with conditioning devices, assembly lines, and Wikanovsky's process to apply the wonderful principle of mass production to biology. Ever since, we have been able to produce the perfect people, for a new perfect world. That is all you should know about the wonderful Wikanovsky's process which forms the foundations of the world state. I hope you learned something today and remember, community, identity, stability, 